If you have a Mongo database, but you don't have any way to visualize that data, then stick around because we're going to easily build an interactive dashboard to explore this. Now to do this, we'll be using Pythagora and we won't be touching a single line of auth code. So this is definitely something that is game changing, definitely something that you want to stick around for. This is a Pythagora and what these guys do is pretty incredible in which you can create workflow automations, build dashboards, also have infinite integrations as well here, which basically allows Slack, Notion, Airtable, and much more. And you can use it with a centralized team access. So your team can access this. It's not just one account per. Now they utilize something called secure setup with this. So basically what this is, is built in security access and a control system in which every app you create runs inside of its own isolated secure space. Now, why does this matter? And why is this different from other AI builders? Well, unlike other low code or or AI app builders, Pythagora doesn't just bolt on security later. There's no manual authentication set up because isolation, permissions, and data protection are all built in from the start, which creates value for any business, no matter the size. So no matter whether you have one CTO building or you have a whole tech team of 50 plus people, this is a platform that caters to all of that. So let's go ahead and have this analyze our database and even make a dashboard for our internal team here. So what we're going to do is say, hey, analyze my MongoDB database on the link that I provided and create a viewer dashboard of that MongoDB database. And the prompt is pretty simple, but it should work effectively. So next, it's going to essentially give us an overview of what it's going to do here, lay it all out for us. We can give it a quick read. And once we're happy with that, we can essentially just confirm this and it will get to work. So we can see all of the different tabs it's planning on creating, whether that is the top navigation bar or a document detail modal. And once it's happy with everything it's created, it's going to give us this prompt here that says, are you satisfied with the product description? If we're happy with it, we simply press yes, and then it begins working on generating the UI components for the database dashboard. So it's important to actually notice the real world impact here because developers and teams can create real company databases or APIs safely. Credentials never leave the environment and integrations happen entirely inside of the secure space. So you can literally build and share an entire internal dashboard in minutes without exposing that private data. Now, once all of that is done, you'll see a bunch of ticks on the right hand side and then it's going to load the preview for the dashboard. So here we can see on the left, this is where we would log in. So we can log in with a test account here just to kind of show that it's working. Press sign in. And here we can see we've got the connection string in there and we can connect to database. From that point, we are in to our internal dashboard. And here we can see this is the viewer it's set up. We've got the accounts, customers, transactions, products, and orders all in one safe space, which I think is really cool. Now it's even given us some settings to play with as well here. So we've got documents per page, the date format, and of course the connection string there too. So this is really cool. We can go ahead and change or save those settings. There's also a dark mode and this is all created by the AI in a matter of minutes. So this is really cool and definitely something that really does raise the bar for the other AI builders out there. We've also got things like visualization here in which we can actually go ahead and change the filters of everything here. And this is something I just haven't seen other builders do. It really is something that is built for internal teams and it is great at basically compiling all that data and making it more approachable. Now, of course, if we did want to change anything, we can go ahead and ask it to in the prompt section, but I'm pretty happy with this as far as it goes. So that is Pythagora. If you do have a MongoDB database and you want to visualize that data easily and effectively, as well as keep it secure and private, definitely consider clicking the link in the description and getting involved with this, because as we've seen today, we did it in a matter of minutes. That's going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next video.